<clears throat> hey, what's up, sexy Samalada Squad? Turns out I'm a Loki main. Yep, I know. I know. Unsubscribe now because it's only going downhill from here. I'm just kidding. We're playing Loki, but I'm not a Loki main in duel. I am in Conquest. <laughs> I love you guys. What the how are you doing? Good morning. Or good afternoon or good night. Wherever you are, depending on where you live. Grab some items. I'll grab beads here. We'll grab one point and everything. Um. Alright. How are you guys doing? I had a um I did a P.O. box opening on my stream yesterday, which was really fun. There's I, I got a bunch of stuff. Um it was amazing. The there's gonna be a P.O. box video. I can be P.O. box opening um coming out soon. Probably within the next two, three days, I'd assume. And um yeah, I don't know. I really appreciate everyone that sent me something because it was like the first time I went to my P.O. box, there was literally nothing there. And I got really upset because I was like, damn, I paid $600 and nobody sent me anything. The only thing in my P.O. box was an advertisement saying that I needed to lose weight. <laughs> um, but, you know, after that one event... I checked my P.O. box again yesterday or two days ago. And there was so much in there, dude. There was so much. There was like 12 packages. I'm not going to spoil anything because I want you guys to watch that P.O. box opening video. But, um, yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. I'm just gonna run here. I'm gonna back. He has good, uh, good poke. Such an elegant tool. But I think later in the game, it doesn't even come close to my burst damage or anything like that. I should be completely fine to just frag out. And I really wanted that. Um, is blue up? This blue is definitely up. All right. I'm honestly a bit surprised he didn't alt there. I'm surprised he just beads. Because if I was him, I would have freaked out a little bit harder than what he did, and I would have most definitely altered. Okay. I mean, I hit my one there. Which is definitely good damage. I have mannequins, so... He has literally no mana. Oh my god, the body blocks, dude. The body blocks. The body blocks. I hit it with the, the... I used my face on the body block, and then I used my two on the body block. Nice. One, two, three, four. Boom. What is this? I have one mark on me. Is that what that means? This complements my attire. Or does that mean I have multiple marks? Empowered blade. I guess when I'm, I guess my mark fell off. I don't know what that means, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I don't think I need to know what it means. I'm just using my uh <clears throat> my jungle build. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh my gosh, dude. He didn't have he didn't have beads. Uh he didn't have beads or his ult. He ulted me at blue and he beads when I ulted him the first time, so I knew for a, a guaranteed fact that was a that was a kill there. Good for me. Horrible for him. <laughs> Alright. Just keep farming, man. 
Beom, 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 beom. I would enjoy it if he didn't get the red buff, but there's definitely no way I can stop him from getting that red. Oh. He altered it, bro. Wait, I just realized he altered that. Oh, there's your beads. Ah! Damn it. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get his ass. Damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna go beat stick here. I normally don't build beat stick because you don't really need it on Loki, but um. Morgan's kind of a, a niche scenario where when she ults, she gets crazy amounts of healing. So I would actually, I'd actually like the anti-heal here. It helps a lot for early game too. Not going to pick up blue. I don't need it. Oh, his beads are down. Damn, he's really, uh, he's really stacking on that, that cooldown. I don't know what's into breastplate. Not what I would do, to be honest, but whatever. He keeps hurting me. Alright, well, there's his ult. And he definitely doesn't have beads, so... I'm actually kind of like certain we could kill him right now. <laughs> you cannot sneak up on me. Go. Okay. Oh, he actually didn't back. That's kind of, I think that's a bad play actually. Not backing there. Now he can only defend one of his, uh, one of his buffs. He can't defend the speed and the blue, which he could have done before. Now he has to pick. I'm hoping he picks speed. Um, he picked neither. Going for the wave. Your middle tower is under attack. He's just pushing really hard right now. I don't think that that's the play, to be honest. I think you definitely want to try to get some buffs and not fall behind in level. Because when you're behind in level versus a Loki, that means you're going to have a bad day. You're going to get bursted so hard. That, I mean, you're going to wish that I'm not going to say something generic like you were never born or something, but like you're going to wish Nice Alright That was everything he has That was his alt, that was his uh, thorns, that was his beads That was also everything I have, but when you both use everything it's about getting the kill, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's about getting the kill, and we got the kill. I'll take it. Um, I will go into defense now. Probably just a Genji's because of the 10% cooldown. This gives 10%, Genji's gives 10%, and then I could go... Uh, Go, go Arendite, I guess, maybe. I think it was 10%. I think. Or does that give 10% pen, not cooldown? I actually don't know. 
This cooldown. Well, that was a lot of damage. I actually have alt up in a second, which I'm going to use. Oh. Well, I guess that was. Wait, did he beads? Did he have beads just now? I thought he used his beads. I guess I was wrong. But he doesn't have beads or alt now. He will have his alt up, by the way, when, um, like by the time that I get my alt up. <laughs> Just because he has, he, he maxed his cooldown with those two items. Which, by the way, I never recommend. I, I think that's a really poor decision. Because there's a lot of good items in the game that give 10% cooldown. There's a lot of really good items in the game, actually, that give 10% cooldown. And, um... Locking yourself max cooldown with just these items means like There's so many items you can't get like you can't go staff of Meriden, which is actually really good right now um You can't go like like getting a 500 pot over caps your cooldown a lot of starter items uh, Over cap your cooldown picking up blue buff will over cap your cooldown. There's a lot of stuff that like You really can't do because of this Oh. Got his ult again, and I got his thorns. Surprised he actually back there, actually. Let's say actually twice there. Weird. This blue buff. to my speed and like i said I, I mean i'm really it's nothing special that i'm doing right now i'm just farming and i by the way i know um i play a very aggressive loki like <laughs> when i play loki i'm not the type of guy to just stealth around and run i i like to try to punch him in the face He's not, a, he's not coming over here. I think that's a mistake. I have a lot of gold. I like how he hit me with his auto attack, but missed with every ability. <laughs> it's actually really funny. All right, we got Hidden Blade here. This is amazing. And we'll go, um... I do want to go Erendite, actually. But I think instead I'll just go Hydras. Yeah, I'll just go Hydras. Give me that last bit of cooldown I need. It'll put me at 30% and then the 500 pot obviously will cap me out.
Oh, I should have waited until I had my mannequin proc. Because that mannequin proc is going to do so much damage, dude. Um. Oh, God. Oh. Nice. We killed him. Oh, but he got my minion wave. Dang it. My whole ass minion wave. My last item here. Um... Heartseeker? I could pair mannequins with Heartseeker and just chunk his HP like nothing. Alright, we should be able to get tower here though. I have almost 300 power and I have enhanced red, so... kill every time i full combo my fps drops i hope it doesn't happen in the video but it is most definitely happening uh in game every single time i ult what should mannequins do there and yeah, mannequins just ticks for 185 huh that's so insane i think mannequins <clears throat> I think mannequins is most definitely like one of the better relics. I think you either want boombas or mannequins, and I don't think anything else is important. Boombas and mannequins. God, dude. I'm not gonna end here. I definitely could end here. Like, that that would be the ending. And every fight has been really close. By the way. Like, every single fight has been really close. Except that one, obviously. <laughs> that was my point. Was that every fight was really close, except for that one. And I think now that I'm, like, you know... Official late game Loki. I don't think anything will be close again. I think I just do insane damage now at this point. My damage is too good now. Um, I mean, this is like pretty much my conquest build. I think the difference is that I would have like Jotuns here instead of beat stick. So I would immediately have the 30% cooldown. Um, so I would have a Jotun's here or even a Crusher if I'm doing good early. And then I'll have like a Void Shield. And then I'll have like um, an Erendite. And then this will be Heartseeker still. And that would be my build. So actually, literally three items out of my six are not what I would build. So I completely lied to you. It's not at all what I would build. He just used every ability he had and didn't hit me. He was so scared. He was so scared that I was running towards him. He used every ability he had. Uh, 420, what's up? Just blaze, dude. Just blaze. 420 power. Uh, now I'm going to completely rip his life apart. Ow. Oh, I missed. Holy shit. 
202 for mannequins, 164 from Heartseeker. I did 400 damage by just using abilities, like not even, not even the damage of my abilities, but just by clicking the button, I did that much damage. All right, we end. 420 power exactly. You love to see it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, G Gamer. Until next time, guys. Peace.